Hi there, boys and girls. Happy Halloween. My name is Vaca, the cow. And I have a very special message for you today on Halloween. Did you know that vaccines are named after me? It's true. Vaccine comes from the word vaca for cow. I know, I never would have dreamt it in a million years, but it's true. Did you know that the very first vaccine came from a cow? <gasps> I was shocked to learn this myself, but actually, I have a little story for you. Uh, back in the, um, oh gosh, it's been so long ago, I don't even know. A long, long, long time ago, in cow years, there was a man named Jenner. And he had heard a rumor that if you got um, cowpox from milking a cow that had cowpox, that you would somehow be magically immune to smallpox. Now, <laughs> just so you know, it's like two totally different diseases. But anyway, um, apparently they'd been trying some like um, exposure to smallpox and it was just making people really, really sick. So that wasn't working out. That, that idea wasn't working out so well. So when Jenner heard from these milkmaids that if you got cowpox, you wouldn't get, you wouldn't get smallpox, he got this idea to take like the the pus scabs of um, someone who was infected with cowpox and cut um, a healthy person open and put a little bit of that pus in them and then they would get cowpox and get really sick. And um, this was supposed to protect you from smallpox. Well, little did they know, it actually doesn't protect from smallpox. And not only that, people were getting really sick from it. And a lot of people didn't believe in Jenner's idea. So it's really strange that today he's heralded as like the father of vaccines because his vaccine didn't work. Isn't it funny how history rewrites itself like that? Well, anyway, that's my little message for you today. Um, my name is Vaca. I'm a cow. And the first vaccines were named after me and they still call him that to this day. Oh, by the way, I bet you didn't know there's little bits of cow in those vaccines, too. It's true because <laughs> they got to grow these diseases on something. And so a lot of times what they use is they use aborted cow fetuses, which is really convenient for the milk and dairy um, producers because getting a cow pregnant is like the way to get them to milk. And if they're, and then what do you do with that baby if you don't want it? Oh, it's great for growing vaccines. So yes, the vaccine that you get injected into your little body, um, it's not only named after me, but it might have me in it. Isn't that neat? Um, and all kinds of other stuff. There's not just cow in your vaccines, but they just call them cow. So that's how important it is. They call it cow because I, the cows were the first vaccine. Now, don't think for a minute that I am for vaccines because I will tell you something. There is nothing scarier to me on Halloween than the idea of a vaccine. So... There's your lesson for the day. I hope you enjoyed it. Whenever you think of vaccines, think of me, Vaca the cow. And boys and girls, stay away from those vaccines. They're not safe.